<laughs> we're brothers. <laughs> we're happy and we sing it and, and we're colored. colored. Do, 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 do. That's y'all shit. Give us a high five. Remember the Wayne Brothers? Whore. Yeah, you got to throw that yellow whore in at the end. All right, so we back, episode five. Episode five. Do you niggas got five episodes already? Yeah. Five, you our first guest, though. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to and then Bert said, man, we got to have Stalin as our first guest. That's why we ain't put out no episode in two weeks trying to catch up with your busy ass. <laughs> so you're busy. So now that we're here, man, what's going on? How the Jay fella been doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So you get your proper introduction. So we got the president and the general. How about that? Uh, I listen to y'all music. We got the president and the general. President of his own label. Also... I, I think I think it's a name that you should adopt. I think Blood gave it to you. Uh, mayor of Oakland. Oh, no. He was the mayor when I met okay. him. Okay. Mayor of Oakland. Oakland. West Oakland mayor. Okay. Mayor of sure. West Oakland. West Oakland mayor. Um, also, I think that you might be the real black Jesus. <laughs> ah, and the reason I say that is, you feel me, because you're always looking out and always really, I don't want to use the word saving, but you, you have saved a couple lives. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I told the bitch I could walk on water, BJ. Yeah, and I believe you. Um, also, you, you know want to... crazy? Bart was telling us earlier, when you showed me this um, umbrella thing, we was talking in the um, driveway waiting on you. Like, yeah, man, this nigga Jay, man. No, we was talking about Master P and mm -hmm. all the business ventures he got going. And then when you showed me this, that nigga Jay and Bert, like, man, this nigga really like Master P. P. For sure. <laughs> he trying to keep some shit going, so... Got to, bro. So what made you, um, first off, give give us a little intro about yourself, bro. Man, I'm just a, uh, I'm just a kid from West Oakland, man, that, uh, that fell in love with music at a very, very young age. And uh, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, but I knew that whatever I was going to do, music had to be the number one entity. And whatever I was doing, whether if I if I wasn't a rapper, I would work for a label. I would be an A and R. I would be a manager. I would be a producer. Like whatever I was going to do, I knew that early in life my calling was music. Whatever I was going to do, it was going to be music. It didn't have to necessarily be an artist. Like a lot of artists start out as artists and they end up as writers, or they right, end right, up right. as, or they end up as executive producers, and like. Lil Bibby, that's who put out um, Juice World. Did you know that? I didn't know Bibby put out Juice World. That's, that's his crazy. artist. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's his artist. That's that's his artist. Like 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 Rick Ross and Meek Mill. Right. Juice World was Bibby artist. I didn't know that's that. crazy. That was and 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 that's what I mean by no matter what I was gonna do in life, it was gonna be something in the music business because we all can say it's not a secret. Juice World has became a super mega star For sure. and reached heights way higher than Little Bibby ever could dream about. Dream yeah, about. but he they yeah. took his knowledge though. But Bibby took that knowledge and that love from the music game. Like I might not be the biggest rapper in the world. Right. But I love this shit so much, I'm going to be in this shit forever and I'm going to be forced to be reckoned with. Right, right. For sure. 